Okay, all right, so we're gonna go on to G minor and C minor on the next page. This video should be even shorter because we're just gonna dive straight into it, okay? So go over to page 201, and you'll see 8-13 all the way through 8-16 is our scales and arpeggios. So we're just gonna start right away with G minor. I'll turn you guys again. Okay, so for G minor, find two Gs, whether you're spaced way out or right next to each other is okay. Okay, so key signature right at the top. We've got B flat and we've got E flat. So write those in really quickly. Pause the video if you need to some help remembering. And then they wrote in F sharp on a raised seventh in for you. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and start. I'll name notes until the second octave. Okay, so we've got G. So, same thing, put your fingers on the notes that they belong, G, B flat, and D, okay? All right, we're gonna take off, and I'll name notes for the first octave, and then I'll stop. G. skip down to C minor okay now we've got even more flats this time so if you really struggle with remembering key signatures please write this in because this is a little bit more difficult to remember than the last one so we've got B flat we got E flat and we've got A flat as well and then actually in this case instead of putting a sharp on a note we're actually going to raise B flat that's in our key signature though so we've got B natural instead to make that leading tone going back into C, okay? All right, same process. Find Cs, and now that you're ready to go, we'll take off and name notes for the first octave. C. and then that is it for the H scales in terms of playing them. Okay, all right, same C's. Put your fingers where they go. That's the wrong hand, there we go. Okay, so that they're all ready to go. Okay, C. have a video on how to practice these hands together because that's very difficult working with two fingers. So if you really need help, there'll be a lot of tips in that video.